beautiful friends. We're live again on this lovely, slightly gray Thursday morning. And today's theme is going to be a deep dive into focusing on connecting with our breath. And then we're going to do a, a lovely swirly flow. So I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see a bit more of my body as we join in. But the first part, you're welcome to do seated. So seated wherever you are. You want to feel your feet on the ground, your buttocks on the chair, shoulders back a little bit. We're working every time with the reminder that in these times when it feels like everything is out of control, we need to find the places where we connect to our resources, to something bigger than ourselves, to something that is eternally available. So in these practices, we're looking at the qualities of support from the earth, that we can have support, which is emotional support as well as physical support. And that's what we're symbolically connecting with when we feel our feet, receiving the energy of the earth rising up, rising up. And we're also receiving the bountiful energy of the sky coming down. And those two energies, one coming up and one coming down, they're going to meet at the heart. So feel that lovely lift in the head. If, those, if you haven't uh, checked out the skull mudra before, thumbs just sit underneath the ledge of the cheekbones. Other fingers wrap around the base of the skull. And you've got a nice gentle hold. And you can lift up, lift up evenly just a little bit. This is all very subtle work. So we need to get quiet enough to feel what is. We're going below that talky, thinky place inside ourselves that often likes to override everything. And we want to get underneath that into our body wisdom and strengthening our resources. So we've got that suspension and we've got that support from below. Now for the breath, we're going to be doing some simple hand positions which will help us focus our awareness through directing our minds and also through touch, touching our own bodies. So we often say in yoga and in Qigong that energy follows our beliefs and our thought forms. And we've heard the term pranayama. And as a yoga therapist, it's one of my absolute favorite and probably my specialty medicine. And I want to remind all of you that pranayama is not just breath work. Pranayama is energy work, prana or chi. Breath is one of the beautiful vehicles that carries breath, that carries energy. It carries subtle energy. So when we breathe in, we can bring in more of that energy from the infinite well of sky and earth. And we can also release old sticky emotions and even waste materials with the breath, which is the natural function of respiration. Now you may or may not know that you can also move prana and chi with your mind. For example, your concentration or focus with your thought forms. If you visualize yourself radiantly healthy, or if you spend the day being fearful that you're going to get sick, it causes a different energy. I even felt a contraction speaking it and a release speaking the, the radiance part. You might feel that as well. So that's listening to and feeling energy. We can also direct energy through our sight, how where we put our eyes, where we put our mental focus, and also through our hands. So enough about that. Let's get down to the actual practice, although that did warm up our minds a little bit, our wisdom bodies. Not just the thinky mind, but the wisdom mind that's going, hmm collecting to connecting to the intuition into ethics into wisdom and clarity so we're warming up our hands and now let's put these sensors on our lungs and heart area in any way that you like 
Take a moment to feel the contact of your hands and your body. Smile gently. And now every place we're putting our hands in this next little section is where we want to send our breath. I like to start with an exhale that creates a clear um, tablet or a, a clear slate. And then inhale, gently guiding your breath, your awareness, and your concentration into the chest and the hands. And as you exhale, all of that relaxes. Feel free to close your eyes and feel into your body. Or maybe you just want to open your eyes once in a while and have a peek and see if what I'm doing. But essentially, you can't do this wrong. If you're resting one hand because the other shoulder is sore, that's going to be exactly the right amount of touch. Inhale, plump the area. Exhale, let it release. You can sigh it out on a few of those exhales just to hasten the cleansing if you wish. Let's do another one. And stay nice and relaxed. No matter what you're feeling, don't judge it, don't tighten up. Simply allow one more. And on this exhalation, just release the hands, let them rest. Take a moment to center, feel your feet, feel the lift through the crown of the head, the length of the spine. And notice any new information from your breath. And don't tighten up one iota if nothing's changed. Just accept it's all, it's all perfect. Now we're going to do a, a more regular, everybody does this in yoga and qigong. We're resting our hands somewhere on our navel, low belly area. And once again, exhale, let all the old out. And now inhale, direct your sensation and your breath right into your belly and your hands. Your hands are giving you a reference point. Remember, they're helping us direct our prana, our chi. And the touch is also soothing, self-comforting. All right, and relaxing and just taking a moment. We're not in a rush. That alone, not rushing, is pretty countercultural, but I'll tell you, it really is a good medicine, isn't it? I'm going to turn around a little bit so you can see the next point. Essentially, we're going to take our hands somewhere onto the lower back, the back of the waist, even up into the kidney area, wherever it's comfortable for you. Remember, there's no right way to do this other than the best way for you. So I find sometimes if my shoulders are tight, it's more relaxing for me to have the backs of my hands resting. If it's more comfortable for you to have your hands closer to your sacrum, that's perfect too, because we can go anywhere with our mind. So with our mental chi or prana, we can be going all up and down the spine. So take a moment to settle. Feel your loving, warm palms touching your precious body. And exhale. And now inhale. The only thing that you have to think about is the touch of your hands and sending your breath there. Filling that area when you inhale and releasing the area when you exhale. Now you can also layer on a happy memory. Maybe think of something or someone that supports you. Maybe right now flaking out on your sofa is your happy place. Own it. Maybe connecting with your best friend over Skype is your happy place. Just fill in what works for you and imagine that as you breathe in, you're also pulling that energy into the breathing points where your hands are and also into every cell of your physical and energetic body. 
Getting the breath to flow into the back body is really, really helpful for soothing our nervous systems. And now relaxing the hands and just taking that little cleansing, resting, centering. The next one is going to be the sides of the lungs and we're going to do this in a slightly different way because I know some people think, oh really, this is so subtle, does it actually do anything? So what we're going to do is do one side of the lungs first. So I invite you to take either your palm or the back of your hand or I even preset. You can use anything. You can use a pillow. You want to be comfortable. You want to have something touching the side of your rib cage. So what I'm going to model is hand here and the other hand just helping. Could be back of the hand, could be whatever works for you, could be a pillow, could be a half inflated Pilates ball. Now as before, all of our focus goes right in to where our hands are. Take your mental chi, your touch chi, your breath chi and bring them all together. Exhale and then inhale. Send the breath into the rib cage. You may feel movement. You may not feel a big movement, but know that whatever amount of movement you have, your concentration is making the energy connection. And two more. All that exists is that one place, one thing, not multitasking. And then releasing down. And as we rest and breathe, I want you to feel, is there any difference in the side of the lung that you have connected with and the other? And if anybody wants to jot a note or a thumbs up in the conversation bar, you can do that. You can do a thumbs up if you feel something. You can leave nothing or you can put a heart. I'm feeling that one side, the side that I thought into and treated is feeling more voluptuous and actually I'm more aware of it and I have more breath. So that's my thumbs up about it. So of course we're going to do the other side and wipe the mind clean. We want to come in with a fresh mind, unburdened by judgments, opinions, past. We want to come with that beginner's mind and touch. Set up a touch. I see some hearts. I'm glad. Sending prana through the camera to you, from my heart to yours, from the universal energy through me to you, because I'm not the source. I'm the messenger right now. So exhale, and now inhale. Okay, we are actually multitasking a little bit, but we're putting some very healing things together. We're putting our mind, our breath, and our body together in one place. And that happens to be one of the really solid definitions of what is yoga, the union of body, mind, and breath. And now exhale, let all of that go. Sit all, feel. Let your two side bodies come together, unifying, balancing. For a few moments, those important breathing places together. Take them apart so we can put a highlight on each one of them, but we always remember we bring them back together so that we can truly, truly feel them. And they need to be unified because they are unified. So sitting, ribs expand and relax. Expand and relax. Your front body, which would be your belly and your chest, you can put them together. 
and see if you can feel all of those at once. Exhale, everything draws in. Inhale, sides, front, back. Exhale, drawing gently in. Let your breath gently lengthen. Be curious. How much space do I have now for my breath? And how empty, letting out the old, clearing, stagnant respiration, old waste gases in the lungs, soothing nervous system, calming hormones, calming emotions. And then every time we inhale, we are drinking from the well of possibilities radiant health, and centered, grounded balance. Let's stand up, and we'll do a little bit of our swirling infinity figure eights. So of course we all know a figure eight. Just imagine, do it with your hands. So let the palms lead, then the hands turn, let the palms go the other way, and we let the whole body come along for the ride. When we're seated, the lower body is anchored, but the upper body, the head and the neck, can move along. Again, this is one of those exercises you cannot do wrong. You just want to relax, get it started, and then allow your body to take over because the truth is it knows exactly what to do. So let's put this together. Now, oh, before I stand up, I want you to think of a clock face. If you have a clock face in front of you, there's 12 up above, 6 down below. To your right, there's a 3, yes, and to your left, there's a 9. If I got that wrong, forgive me, but I think you know the idea. So we're going to be using that clock face, and it's going to be on the floor. So I'm going to stand back so that you can see more of my body. And you want to place your feet where they're comfortable, usually a little bit wider. And let's just start by swaying the hips. So you're essentially going from your three to your nine position. Imagining that the clock is flat on the floor looking up at you. Twelve is in front of you. Six is behind you. Three is to your right. Nine is to your left. So this is a good position to help you figure out where you've got freedom. We are never leaving behind our beautiful suspension, nor our support. And I like to invite us for this exploration to allow the feet to roll a little bit. You're not trying to glue the feet down, so it's okay if you're rocking a little bit from inner border to outer border. Actually, this feels pretty nice already, I think. I hope you do too. So now we're going to do 12 and 6. So it's very casual without collapsing and don't take your head back. We're focusing on the pelvis here and then back. So the hips are opening up to the front position, the 12, and a little bit back to the 6. Just opening things up. The hips can tighten up. A lot of emotion can get tightened up anywhere in the body. Some of our other little YouTube lives, uh, Facebook lives, we've done some shoulder and upper body today. There's a little bit more hips. Okay, now we're going to come into the diagonals. So let's just twist a little bit, just easy twisting with soft knees. This loosens things up and allow the head to be very free. Allow the head to be very, very free. Eyes just a little above the horizon line. And let that come to its natural little completion. Okay, so now we're going to soften the knees, stay suspended. We're going to twist the hips to the right. So your left hip is going to be facing towards around the two o'clock, one ish, two ish o'clock. And we're going to rock from the two to the eight. You let your hands come in on it too, because remember, this is not an isolation practice today. This is a put one movement in the driver's seat and let anything else that wants to come along for the ride and the party have a good time. The only thing we want to do is keep breathing and stay open so that what comes through us is the most authentic rather than what is thinky or it should look like that. We don't want to lock down anywhere. 
We may have to lock down socially, but we are not locking down in here. Okay, so now come back to the center, soften the knees, grow tall, twist the hips the other way. So now you're going to be rocking from about the 10 o'clock to the four o'clock-ish. Now make sure you're comfortable because you might be slightly different, but essentially you're diagonal and you want your body to figure it out. And you're just riding tall because you're suspended through that helium head and you're having a good time. Good. All right. Now we're going to put it together. How do we make an infinity symbol? So it's going to be figure eights on the ground. The place where the loops meet is right underneath the pelvic floor. So let's twist our hips and we're going to send the hips out to the front diagonal. That front hip is going to swirl around to the back diagonal and then you're going to send the hips forward, swirl them around to the back, send them forward across the diagonal, swirl back, send forward on the new diagonal, swirl back, and you can just relax with it. If you can see my feet for a moment, you'll notice that I'm allowing myself to constantly readjust my feet so that my knees and my hips can really move. And here's that hand movement if you want to use it. The heels of the hands are following the movement of the hips. And just have some fun with it. If you get confused, stop, breathe, watch me join in. Trust also that just watching with open eyes and deep breath and mirroring my movements so that you're not going the opposite way is usually the easiest way. I'm going to turn around to face your direction. Some of you might find this is much easier to learn this way. So hips to the front, swirl around the back to the other diagonal. So your hip bones, if you want to put your fingers on your hip bones, those fingers are drawing figure eights on the floor and then your arms are just doing their thing. So here we are, the hands are really connecting with the earth energy. And now let's bring the hands up around heart height and you're clearing, opening up the vistas for the heart and the chest. And now the throat, because the throat can get very uh, closed down. This is our purification, our communication. So here let's Let's open up the throat. In yoga, the element for the throat is akash or ether. So think of sky. And often the blue sky color is the color associated with the throat chakra. Just take away any guck, cobwebs, emotional mucus. Maybe you've got throat mucus. Just clear. And now clear the mind. So you're doing your figure eights and... I sometimes call this backstroke in the ocean of bliss. You're combing your long silky locks or you're doing a backstroke in the ocean of bliss. And we're going to let this gently, gently slow down. And we're going to finish by calming the energy down because we've gone up. We don't want to stay up there might be kind of fun for a while, but we always want to be grounded. So on the inhalation, you're going to feel the energy come up through your legs. On the exhalation, palms turn up and you soften. On the inhalation, let the energy come up through your legs. This time, you're reaching for and embracing that beautiful cosmic energy. And on the exhalation, come down. You're bringing the cosmic energy down. We cleared all of these places with our swirling. Just hold the hands here and imagine that you're beaming in fresh, healing, strengthening energy into your crown and head. On one of your exhalations, keep that beautiful energy coming down and bring it and offer it to your throat. If you want to do any movements, if your body intuitively wants to do any movements, let it, whatever you want to do but allow new fresh energy to come into the cleared space. And now coming down into the heart chest area, you can touch of course with your hands or you can hold your hands in the energy field. You're filling, you're refilling the gas tank. 
and then coming down to the belly and you're giving that beautiful cosmic energy you're bringing it down and then finally just brushing it down it pours out through the pelvic floor through the legs reconnecting you with your beautiful support system from mother earth and we thank her and we thank father sky and we stand tall bringing the feet together closing the hoku points the webs between the thumb and the index fingers and standing suspended to the heavens rooted and supported by the earth smiling seeing ourselves refreshed radiant flexible and able to respond to whatever comes our way knowing that we can recharge our resources at any time i thank you all for coming i'll answer any of your questions after the uh, video in the chat box and many many blessings to you have a beautiful day